Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Beth, and I just finished reading Go Ask Alice by anonymous <coughs> Beatrice Sparks. Um, I say that because obviously it says anonymous here, but it's well known that Beatrice Sparks wrote this novel in 1971. This book is about 210 pages long, so uh, th this is written for teenagers. Uh, Beatrice Sparks was actually a Mormon counselor, and this book is essentially a don't do drugs book. Uh, the thing is, it's actually written quite well. Uh, just the prose that's used, and you can really, uh, you can really connect with the teenage character. I, I mean, I did feel that I was not the targeted audience for this book. I definitely felt too old. I felt that it was pandering a little bit. Um, but when all is said and done, this is, this was my sister's favorite book back when she was a teenager. And honestly, it makes sense. Uh, she also loved the Twilight books, so... Um, the book's basic premise is a 15-year-old girl starts a diary and she gets hooked on drugs after someone, uh, slipped her LSD when she went to a party. And, um, I'm gonna say this now, I don't think the book is realistic. Maybe the 70s were different, but where are they getting the money for these drugs? Like, they are children, and there's even points in the book when she says that there's different types of, uh, dopers. The ones that have money and the ones that have no money at all. And I'm thinking, how, if you don't have a job and people are just giving her free drugs. And there comes a point in the novel when she's trying to be clean and people are threatening her because she's clean. And, and then they're like, we're going to get you back, Miss Good Two Shoes Clean, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is not realistic. I don't think that people really hooked on drugs would be this motivated to ruin somebody's life and also why are they wasting their drugs like, where how are they getting such a supply it makes no sense to me at some point she hooks up with a drug pusher but at the same time yes she is pushing drugs and making but she's making money and she's claimed to, claiming to make money but if she's ingesting this amount of drugs on it i i just at some point i'm a bit confused on where all the drugs coming from. Uh, and, I mean, the, the story, like, it's definitely for teenagers. It's definitely just saying, hey, don't do drugs. And the book is pushed at, as if a 15-year-old, this was an actual 15-year-old girl's diary. But it came out uh, in recent years that it was, you know, it's just a complete work of fiction. Even though, you know, in the beginning of the novel it says that, you know, just the, the names were changed and slightly, no. No, this is fiction. It says fiction. This is a fictional book. Um, and I gotta say, uh, the ending... Okay, I'm gonna do spoilers here, so just don't listen for the next few seconds. She dies in the end, but she's she's already gotten clean, and she's protected by her family, and she has everybody supporting her, and it just says that she overdosed a day later after her last entry, and... Or was it two weeks later? Something very close. And it makes no sense to me. I feel as if in her diary, her most sacred works, she's going to speak the truth. She's not going to just all of a sudden go off the cliff and say, you know what? I've decided. Drugs. I'm not even going to tell my diary, even though I tell my diary literally everything. At a point, she locks up her diary so that nobody will know what she has written in her diary. That is how secretive she is about her diary and how much truth she has put into this. I'm thinking she's gonna at least mention that she wants a drug once before she dies. I, and she doesn't. So, and I guess maybe it's implied that those people might have dr overdosed, drugged her again, not her fault. But where are they getting the drugs? Where are they getting the money for these drugs? <laughs> um... I, I think that the, the writing is qu done quite well. It's very descriptive. Uh, I feel that the way that the emotions are expressed is very authentic. I don't have any relation to drugs or alcohol abuse, so maybe I'm wrong. But to me, it felt very genuine. Um, but I do think that maybe a few things are blown out of proportion uh, or just a little bit confused. For instance, she does LSD first, and then she's like, you know what? I need weed in my life. And I'm like, you're just going down. I feel that LSD is probably more addictive than weed. Maybe maybe not. Once I know nothing about the subject. I just, 
this was in my library. My sister loved this book, and I, I was curious. That, and it's so short. In just, if you look at the pages here, they are small pages. There's not a lot of words on this. I think I read this in maybe two hours. It's very, I, I mean, if you are a teenager and you're trying to do a book report, free book right here. Uh, I will say it is, de check your triggers. There is underage um, sexual activity. Uh, there's prostitution. There is trauma. Ch check your triggers before reading this book. It, it is a little bit upsetting. And, it, and it's not it's not a happy topic. By no means. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to put you in a dour mood. Um, I think that that's probably what an emo teenager wants to read, though. So, once again, if you are a teenager, go for it. We don't want you on drugs. D don't do drugs. Read this book. Don't do drugs. So, you know, I think, I think it, it served its purpose. I think that, yeah, that, that's basically the whole book. Just don't do drugs. Um, I don't really have any recommendations if you like this book. I know that there's another book by the same, I believe the same author, uh, Beatrice Sparks wrote Jay's Journal. I haven't read that. It's in... In my collection. I might read it. Because once again, these books are short. They go quick. And the writing is good. Um, maybe if I go on another reading slump. I'm going to be honest. I've been a little bit of one. So I was just trying to knock out a short book to finish up the month. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy my review. And have a good one.